So this is Spain, right? And um, and th there's two models at the benchmark. So this is the armed conflict model, the forecasting 12 months ahead. So every point here is like a forecast. And this is important. These are what's called pseudo out of sample. So we pretend we know here at this point, we pretend we know everything that is known until the 1st of April. Um, that means we, we have the data from March, right? Basically, 1st of April means like the March data. <clears throat> and we are, we are forecasting 12 months into the future. And at that point, uh, our model said the likelihood of an outbreak of an armed conflict is 2.5%. That's fairly low. Yeah. And what you see here is like you see this kind of slide curving up and then like this jump. That's September, uh, September data point. That's the jump. That must have been something in August, right? And it goes to 17%. What was that? Well, there was nothing to do with the Catalan independence. This is actually a terror attack in Barcelona, right? So UCDP actually coded political violence in Barcelona at that point. And so the, the machine, this is kind of the vase on the floor, right? So this is like these jumps in our models are always like, we're not better than anybody else. Basically, this is just like in hindsight, now the model says like, oh, there were deaths. So that means that it's more risky than I thought, right? And so these are you think of these jumps as kind of failures. These are kind of like the model is adjusting to a new reality. And then, but instead of like what you would see in Germany with the terror attack, let me just do that very quickly. I hope it goes fast enough. Uh, um, I can't find Germany as a German, that's fine. Uh, so see, this is the terror attack in Germany. You see this goes up and then falls steeply down again. Right, so the model yes. didn't see the terror. Well, it, I think it does see the terror attack coming. Right, so you see, like from a very very low baseline, it's, it's kind of risk is creeping up, and then it's like boom, the attack happens. Um, but what happens in Spain then? So that's the mix, right? So this is the interesting mix of like terror attack, but then uh, <laughs> it doesn't rest. Right, so then you have the police violence, and then you have lots of stuff happening, and it just stays above fifteen percent. For a developed country, that's more than is comfortable, right? And now let me show you what the what the text model thinks about this. So the text model doesn't know what the violence data looks like. We don't give the violence data to the text model. We we just give it the text. And so what does the text model think? And I think this is very revealing because the text model takes basically, I think, tracks the structural stuff of the independence movement. Right? It doesn't see the terror attack necessarily coming, but, it, but, it, but this is a model, I think, of the independence movement. Right? You see that the peak here is the police violence and you see that then it goes back down. You see the it, rising instability leading up to the police violence and then with like backs and forth, obviously, the stabilization. And so is that this is peak where... an overlap? Say again. Is the peak from the text model the same as the peak no. from? This is late. This is uh, slightly later because this is the November. This is the kind of this one. It's like here. Okay. So that's the that's the police violence in Barcelona, right? And so it, it's like I think it's the. Uh, here actually the terror attack is here so it's like it's not taking that as a really strong signal of something fundamental changing in the news landscape and and so yeah yeah so just again so in the text model th this is the using the newspapers article the the, the newspaper articles exactly. and the best model the, f the one further up that is basically referring to past events it's doing both. So the best model uh -huh, uses okay. the text data and the okay. and the and the violence dynamics, right? And so the violence dynamics are the biggest drivers of this model because what I said before, it's like mm -hmm. when you have violence, you have more violence. When you recently had violence, you will have a lot of violence, right? And so um, these are the jumps are always driven by the by the actual violence data, but these fluctuations around these are always the text they are driven by the text data usually. 
or like by because we have dynamics inside so you see that there's a decline here that's coming from the eta period like there's still the outliers of the eta period right and it's kind of coming down from that still so so that's that's how the model works and here's you see the topics right you see there's a lot of writing about competition in sports on Spain always because it's always very football-y. There's a lot of football stuff on Spain. Let me, let me give you more uh, interesting country. Let's take the United States. Well, let's take, no, actually, let's take one, but, which I think is very, very interesting to look at. Can you show us also Germany's text model yeah. relative to the terror event? Because that would be very interesting to be able yeah. to compare. So let me let me let me show you this for example. Like this is this is Peru, right? And you see that the best model doesn't do a lot. It just fluctuates back and forth. And it, I mean, uncomfortable levels, right? Europeans would not be happy with this kind of like level of fragility. This is literally a level. This is literally a fragility measure, right? So this level of fragility, Europeans would not be happy with. But they, you know, okay, it's fluctuating around. Now, what you see here in the text model is that it's coming from something that's really terrible to something that's much more stable. And then recently, right, with the, with the turmoil, the auto coup and all that, it goes back up. And so what you see in the, what you see in the, um, in the, in the, in the, in the text is if you look at the, the march, you see a lot of, of this bubble. You see economics, you see civilian life, power negotiation, national development, right? There's some, all kinds of, Things, but then there's this kind of violence, military action kind of uh, news, and you see that that's uh, fairly large in the last three months. And my hunch is that if you look here, that's the peak, right? January uh, here, that's this one. That's the jump up. The jump up is like you can't see that here. There's no jump up here because there was no, according to UCP, there wasn't any political killing. On, or, or if there was this one or something, but then the news landscape changed completely in, on uh, you know in in December uh, in December twenty two, and so so that's that jump and that's 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 this thing here that like kind of completely changes the attitude completely changes, and so so yeah this, let me just show you that landscape before right before this episode has come you see the cost of war being like really small right and you see that there's a lot more talk about politics diplomacy uh, and and the and the violence aspect is very small and so that's what kind of this thing going higher needs to go it's higher higher risk estimate.